Hey, welcome back. Today I am going to do a keratoma removal and I'm going to walk you through this step by step. So if you want to learn our procedures from beginning to end, today is the day. What do I have over here? The first thing that I have is I'm selecting the tubes for the endotracheal intubation, for the genital anesthesia. And here I have the anesthetic to induce the horse under anesthesia. So what I'm doing here is I'm helping, I'm helping out the anesthesia team because we all collaborate together, right? So come on over here. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna put the horse here, it's gonna be laying down like this, on the side, right? So we just like that under anesthesia, and we're gonna be operating in the back, right? So the horse is gonna be like this, uh, actually like this. And then we're gonna be operating. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm gonna yeah. give the tube <laughs> and the anesthetic to the tomato, and he's gonna handle it. So a keratoma, to make it super simple, is a growth in the bone of the horse. Now here, let me show you. It's a growth in the bone that goes right there and that growth is putting pressure, pressure, a lot of pressure in the hoof, and then it causes an abscess. And now we're gonna go and take that growth out. <laughs> so now, now what they're going to do is they're gonna pass an autotracheal tube. As you can see, what's happening is that the keratoma is putting pressure here, and that pressure is actually creating multiple abscesses. We already cleaned the hoof outside, and now I'm just continue cleaning, trying to, trying to keep the area as sterile as possible. It's impossible to, to keep a, horse, a hoof fully aseptic. However, um, we do as much as we can, right? too strong. <laughs> By putting this tourniquet, we are going to prevent the blood from preventing our, our visualization. So if we don't do this, there's gonna be a lot of bleeding. But because we put this tourniquet, now we can stop a lot of that bleeding so that we can work. So what we're doing here is finding the mass that is causing that particular problem. All right, so that's what we're gonna remove this keratoma. This is a very thick hoof wall, because it's a big horse, right? So we have to go through a lot of hoof to be able to get this out. higher than what I thought. Look at it right there. Wow. That's the keratoma right there. Way higher than I thought. So I have a good, I have a good visualization. Now I need to open up more. Nice, that's it, that's it, keratoma right there. This circle right there, hold that. A lot of times you don't, you don't get the pleasure to go around it, but this one is so big that I wanna go around it and I want to try to remove it as intact as possible from the bone.
this was a heck of a workout over here. So we finally were able to find the keratoma, remove the whole thing, and then now we're just cleaning up the bone. So this is what it looked like inside, inside that hoof, you see that? Is we are putting a paste of metronidazole, which is antibiotic, dissolved in gentamicin, which is another antibiotic, and we are going to wrap it very tight. We're going to release the tourniquet. That's going to make him bleed a little bit. Mm -hmm. I put a paste, my friend, with um, antibiotic. A paste with antibiotics. We're going to wrap it really tight because this is going to bleed a lot. Once we release that tourniquet, this guy is going to bleed, no question about it. This is a very highly vascular, highly vascular area. A lot of blood in here.